Oh, seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to another Top 5s video with myself, 6 Plus Stevo. So in this one, I'm going to be counting down my Top 5 favourite Orc kits. And now with the Orc range from 40k, there's a lot of kits out there to choose from, a lot of kits. And uh, we've had a lot of sort of new kits over the last couple of years with like October and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just thought it would be fun because I've got some pretty strong opinions about what makes like a, a good kit from GW um, and what what from my experience of collecting orcs, what kits I've enjoyed building the most and got like a lot of use out of in various ways. So. For the purposes of this list, there'll be different factors that come into my decision making. Um, one being price. Is the kit you know, fairly priced? Is it competitively priced? Do you get a lot of bang for your buck? Um, two, the versatility of the kit. Um, are there a lot of options in the kit? Is there a lot you can do with the kit? You know, good scope for conversion um, and things like that and kit bashing. Um, another thing is the uh, ease um, and pleasure of building and some kits some kits out there can be like a real chore to build or can be quite difficult and challenging to build um, and there's other kits out there that can just be a real pleasure to build and it's, the time just seems to fly by when you build and you really seem to get a lot of fun out of it um, and then the last one is also the spare parts because it is I think it's always fantastic when you finish building a kit, whatever it is, that you've got a lot of spare bits to go in the bits box afterwards. That that's always represents really good value for money there um, because later on down the line, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with those extra bits, especially being an orc player because I'm sure most of you watching right now have done some form of kit bashing or converting with your bits and made some crazy creations for your orcs. And that is one of the, biggest most fun things to do when collecting orcs um so yeah without further ado let's just crack on with it and take a look at what is my number five top orc kit okay so in at number five is a classic and uh, a popular one from a lot of people and i'm sure a lot of people won't be screaming at the screen when i say this this should be higher up on the list but for me, at number five, it's the Orc Truck. Uh, I've got to say, before I go into why that's number five, this list of all the top fives I've done, this has been by far the hardest one. I've started listing down all my favourite kits and you know, reminding myself of what kits there are out there. Um, geez, it was tough. It was tough. Like I kept changing my mind. And uh, I'm sure by the time this video is edited and put up, I'll have changed my mind again. But for now, at number five is the Orc Truck. Um, the Orc Truck is uh, good value. It's it's still a fairly cheap kit. It's one of our cheaper kits, certainly in terms of vehicles. Um, it has gone up a bit lately, like with a lot of GW's range lately. The price has gone up, but it still represents like pretty good value for what you get in the box. And uh, what you get in the box is a really cool ramshackle truck that has so many options and so many different ways of building it now you've got the standard way that comes in the box that you can build but you you've got so many optional parts of armor plating and different bits where you can it, it's it's designed in such a way that you can just leave some bits off to get some variation on it um you can easily switch the driver and the gun around to different positions it's it's you've only got to Google search orc truck just to see what people have done with this thing and just from very simple conversions to like really extreme stuff um, and that's just if you want to build a truck because I know loads of people myself included have bought the truck kit with no intention of building a truck but just using the parts within for other stuff myself recently I have converted my own mech guns using parts from the orc truck kit um, it was great for doing that. I know a lot of people use the kit for building buggies um, and just you know, using it for spare parts and things to you know, loot other vehicles and combine bits of the truck with rhinos or chimeras, etc. 
Um, and that's just scratching the surface because there's just so many uses for this cheap, versatile kit. Um, I think what makes it so good is, is the, the addition of the, the wheels, um, the, the axles, and the, 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 sort of the suspension bars, the chassis, um, the, the armor plating that comes in it, um, the engines are really useful, um, the, the, there's the exhaust pipes on it, and the, these are all things that any orc kit basher slash converter is, is just desperate for because you can like I say you can use them to build trucks bikes buggies um met guns scenery looted wagons whatever um and it's just one of the best kits for that it, it's uh yeah it's just an awesome awesome kit and it was it was really hard choosing between that and one of my honorable mentions which i'll speak about later but yeah number five orc truck Let's take a look at what's at number four. Okay, so in at number four, possibly a controversial one, um, is the Orc Mega Knobs. Um, now, I know I said at the beginning of this video, uh, price comes into the equation, and that is why they are only at number four and not higher on this list. Remember, this is a list, my personal list, so you will disagree. This is going to happen with top fives. Um, but uh, the, the price, you can't get away from the price. The price is ludicrous. Uh, I did a video about it before. Um, I will pop a link for that up in the corner uh, if you want to go and check that video out. Um, because, yeah, the, the price of the Megadobs kit is ludicrous. But putting that to one side for the moment, what do you actually get in the kit? You get three mega knobs and a little grot oiler buddy. Um, but what makes this kit really good compared to a lot of other kits, specifically in the Orc range, is that um, in the codex, the mega knobs come with a range of options, weapon options. They can have custom shooters, they can have combi shooters with rockets or combi shooters with scorchers, they can have kill saws. And uh, what I really like about this kit is it has enough options and parts in there to have all of those or any of those uh, some other kits will have those options available to those miniatures um, within a unit but it won't give you all of those in the kit which then forces you to have to convert or kit bash or find bits from bit sellers or trade bits with friends and you know other players and stuff um, which which can be fun and it's, it's sometimes things like that give you an incentive to convert and kit bash and create your own um and sometimes necessity you know um creates creativity um but it sort of forces your hand in that direction whereas with the mega knobs kit it's fantastic that you you don't have to have that you, if you want all of them with kill saws you've got it if you want them all with combi shooters or custom shooters you've got it so that's one reason why it's it's a really good kit uh, another reason is just that they're just awesome. I, I just fucking love the models. I, I love all mega knobs. I just think, to me, look so cool. Um, I love the sort of boxy, basic look of the mega armor um, with the sort of big, ex you know, the big sort of engine exhaust stack things, and they've got the big armor plating and the trophy racks and stuff. Uh, and you can see it's an orc's take on Space Marine Terminator armor. Now, it's their version of tactical dreadnought armor, and it's clearly not as um, well designed and um, ergonomic, and you know doesn't have a lot of the features and the you know the, the subtleties and you know the craftsmanship of Space Marine armor. But they they've had a go, and it's 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 just brilliant. I, I love it. I love this sort of seeing the kind of uh, it. The Mega Armor reminds me quite a lot of, uh, if so, those of you of a certain age would know the film Aliens, uh, when Ripley gets into the power loader at the end and fights the Queen Alien. Um, the, the, even spe specifically on their legs, you can see the sort of pistons and stuff on it, and I, I just love it. I just love the look of the miniatures. Another cool reason why they're really good is that you also get, within the Mega Knobs kit, the option to make one of them as a big mech in Mega Armor. Um, with again all the options um you've got the custom mega blaster option you've got all the, the weapons that i previously mentioned um you've also got the teleport blaster um or the custom force field so you've got all the options there to create 
you know, some cool, uh, cool big mech character or a unit of mega knobs or a combination of the two. And it's 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 a kit that I found keeps on giving. I've I've had I've bought several of them. Um, also, it combines with the standard knobs kit really well. The heads are completely interchangeable. So if you want more variety in your knobs or your mega knobs, you can do head swaps between the kits. Really easy to do. Um, and it's just got some great options to use bits to convert other things. I've used, once you've finished making your mega knobs or your big mech or whatever you decide to build out of the kit, you are left with a lot of spares, um, a lot. And I've used those parts. You know, you've got little extra bits of armor you can use to convert hard boys, for example. Um, I love using the uh, rocket parts of the combi rockets. I've used those to convert a lot of tank busters. Makes building your own tank busters insanely easy because those parts are so usable. Just with a little bit of filing of the little sort of connection nub, you can connect that onto any other sort of gun, turn it into a rocket launcher really easily, and it looks really effective. Um, they're just they're just a cool kit, and I just love them. And I know they're stupidly priced, but I think even regardless of the price, I think the value of the kit that you're getting there and what you get in the kit, you get more than what you get. <laughs> you you get your your mega knobs, you get says, but then the parts you get left over will keep giving you more value long after you've built the mega knobs. Um, yeah, so that's why Mega Knobs are in number four because I just think they're awesome, regardless of uh, GW draining our wallets to get hold of them. But yeah, that's number four. Let's take a look at what is my personal number three. So in at number three is the Death Dread. Um, I make no secret about it. I love cans. I love dreads. Um, and I love dread mobs. And I just love that whole... I love... I just... Ever since I first saw them um, years ago, and I first saw the Orc Dreadmore, as it was known then, I just thought it was so cool. It's just a trash can with arms and legs. And it's just awesome. Uh, it's, it's a kit that can be got hold of fairly cheaply. Um, I say cheap. In terms of GW's pricing, cheaply. Um, it comes in the start collecting set which is a great way to get hold of a def dread and save yourself a lot of money um but it yeah it's i was choosing between this and uh the, the killer cans um but four reasons i went into earlier some of my earlier picks the reason i like the def dread is because it has all the options there or, or or a vast majority of the options that it can have anyway um, some of the options have changed slightly in the new codex, which has given it some new options. And uh, it, so it's given it the options to take sort of uh, four guns, um, which it never had before. Um, but you, you, get all, you get a lot of the options in there. Um, so you've got the choice of custom mega blasters. You've got the choice of big shooters, of rockets, uh, scorchers. You've got the choice to have it pure, give up all the guns and go full on goth style with just close combat weapons, of which they are just beautiful. You've got the most barbaric sort of industrial looking weapons, scrap heap weapons, um, buzz saws, drills, big piston driven claws and just really cool looking stuff to create something awesome it's he's really posable you can have a stomping about um you've got range of different feet different face plates um you can you can get a lot of um personality into your death dreads when you build it and it's just a good fun kit to build um it's it's just it, it's just so orky and I long may it live on and not be updated for a long time because I, it's one kit that I just think will never age. It's it's beautiful. Um, it's beautiful in its simplicity. It's a trash can with arms and legs that stomps about and shoots stuff and kill, squishes stuff, and it's just brilliant. It's brilliant. Um, and again, you're left with a lot of spares. Um, I you depending how you build your death dread. Uh, or any way you build your death dread, you're going to have a lot of spares. You're going to be left over with some spare arms, some spare weapons, which can easily or fairly easily be modified 
to be carried by some of your infantry or mounted. It's um, again, another kit that's interchangeable, which is a fantastic thing about most of the things on this list. Um, the, a lot of the arms can be freely interchanged between the killer can kit. So if you get a death dread and a killer can kit at the same time, you can have some fun swapping parts between them and giving them different arms and things. And uh, yeah, you, you can get a lot of variety. And uh, like I said, the posability, every single arm can be posed in different positions. The legs can be posed. So you can get death dreads in running poses and stomping poses. You can make them look like they're falling over. You can have a lot of fun with them. And they, yeah, I mean, they're, they're awesome on the tabletop. Um, they're great fun to use in game. And they just look cool. Um, they're fun to build. And you've just got a lot of options and choice in there. And uh, yeah, it's 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 an amazing kit. And uh, long, long may the Death Dread continue. So now we're getting close. We need to take a look at what is number two on the list. <laughs> That's right. It is the Waz bomb blaster jet uh i recently reviewed this on the channel um i was lucky enough to get one for my birthday from mrs six plus thank you darling and uh i oh i love this kit this i have to say of every kit i've probably ever built i don't think i ever had so much fun putting a kit together um barely any mold lines at all i mean that's got to be said about this kit a lot of kits you get specifically a lot of the older kits and things um have there can be a real pain with mold lines and stuff mold lines being in awkward areas and trying to anyone who's ever had an army that's got plasma guns in it for example will always know you've got that mold line running across the rib section that is a nightmare to get off without ruining the look of the plasma gun itself there's barely any of that on this kit um, where the mould lines are it tends to be in a lot of the spots where they're going to join and glue anyway so it cuts out a lot of the work for you and where there are mould lines they're just they're, they're really faint and it, it, it's just it's it's a very easy kit to put together um, and I talk about options boy has this kit got options originally this kit started out as the DACA jet kit from which you could build a DACA jet, a burner bomber, or a blitzer bomber. And you've got loads of choices in there already. You had different um, turrets, different ways you can put the wings. You can have the wings sort of in a, like I've got here, in a sort of a downward motion, or you can extend them and have them sort of more in an upward motion. You've got different tail fins that you can choose from, um, and you've got all the different weapon options, whether you want to have it as a DACA or the burner or the blitzer. So really, really, really cool. Um, then they took it one step further and brought out the Waz Bomb Blaster Jet options, which was an upgrade sprue, which they put in there, which extends the options even further and gives you the options to build the crazy, mad looking Waz Bomb Blaster Jet. Um, but as I've done here, I've built a Blitzer Bomber here, but as you can see, uh, I've used the tail from the um, Waz Bomb Blaster Jet because I just really like that look from it. And... Uh, yeah it it's it's just a fantastic kit it's it's got and again you want spare parts you want parts for like future looted wagons and things this is your kit you get loads of turrets loads of like big shooters and uh you want grot gunners on your tanks and stuff you've got them in abundance in here um you get some really the pilots and the gunners in here as well really cool full of character you get a good range of heads and stuff to choose from to really add some personality to the orc inside um it's just a, it's it's a really really cool kit and uh, once you build the kit you get to do this you know that's good shit you you just got to do it haven't you you got to do it um we all do it don't lie we all do it um yeah it's just i love it i absolutely love it i want more of them um, I want to build more of them because it was genuinely a pleasure to build. Not very hard, barely any of building that kit felt like a chore. It was just a really, really fun kit to put together. And it was great fun just deciding how I wanted the wings to look and what sort of profile I wanted it to have. And even if you were to build 
if say I wanted to build a squadron of three blitzer bombers, all the same, they could they would all look different, and not because I would need to convert them. Um, I wouldn't need like most things. If you want to, you know, get another vehicle, make it look different, you're going to either kit bash it or convert it so that it doesn't look the same as the first one, and take parts from other kits to mix in with it. You don't need to do that with this. Um, there's enough parts in there that I'm confident you could build several. Like you could build several DACA jets and have with just what's in the kit, every single one of them look different. And that's a massive plus in my book. And uh, yeah, it's just it's a, it's a really, really good kit. I cannot sing its praises high enough. If you don't yet have an orc flyer in your orc army, uh, you're deciding to add something to your army or a vehicle of some kind. You don't know what to add. Trust me get one of these you will not be disappointed you really won't um what a pleasure to put together and what an awesome looking kit um and i'm looking forward to painting it and just getting it finished and just seeing what this thing looks like painted up and having some fun with it on the battlefield because yeah mm, wicked kit um but it didn't quite make it in at number one so it's got some tough competition there what's beaten all these awesome kits to be number one from my picks the best orc kit ever Let's take a look. Boys, the boys kit. It's got to be, it's gotta be. Um, right, listen, I know the the community's divided, although I think most of them are split from my side in saying that the boys kit doesn't need updating. But I know there's a, a, a large group of people that say the boys kit is so dated. It dates right back to the 90s. It's a really, really old kit. I think it was um, the boys kit that we've currently got, although it has been sort of upgraded slightly at one point, it, it basically is from third edition um, from like way back. Um, it's been going for a long, long time. You're looking at like 20 years old now. Um, so it is an old kit. It is an old, old kit. And I know that GW's sort of molding process and design process and the details they can get into kits now have improved and got better over the years. And, you know, a lot of their range has improved in quality and detail over the years. But there is just something about that kit. It just, in my mind, <clears throat> it still holds up. It still holds up. The boys look great. They're easy to build. They're f you get a lot of posability out of them. Um, you've got you get a good range of heads, a, you know, good range of stuff in there. You've got um, options in there which they updated at some point over the years. Um, they added into it. Um, they they gave the addition of um, uh, rocket launcher options and a big shooter options um, and extra little bits in there like the parts to be able to make one into a boss knob. Now, personally, I don't ever use the boss knob parts of the boys kit. I just make another boy because. I prefer the knobs out of the actual proper knob set. Um, but it's the options there if you need it. And you, you've got just a good range of heads and a good range of lots of accessories in there as well. You get lots of things like stick bombs, um, knives, um, uh, boss poles. You get little armor plate in if you want to make something into hard boys. You, you've just got a lot of cool options in there. And uh, But the, I think the thing that makes the boys kit timeless and just such a good kit and the backbone of any orc army any orc army um, no matter what clan you run no matter what play style you have what type of army you have the boys kit is the backbone of any orc army in any orc collection because it's so versatile and so interchangeable with other kits for example the um things like the commandos um things like uh tank busters um the looters the burners you can swap parts from these kits between the two or you know especially with like looters and burners um they are essentially sort of an upgraded boys kit in itself that it, they, they all work off the same build the boy itself and then you add the different parts to make him into either a boy or a looter or a burner uh, and if you want to go down the conversion route, then tank busters and commandos, um, or just with head swaps and things. And it's so easy to do, and it's so fun to do. Um, and I, I myself have just bought the kit several times over and made so many different things out of it. 
um, and it, it's it's just it's a brilliant kit that just keeps on giving. And um, like GW, please, if at some point in the future you do decide to replace that kit or update that kit, um, please don't screw it up because you have a genuine, true classic on your hands with this kit. You really, really do. It is they're just sublime, and I think it's one of the reasons what makes the Orc range on a whole so fun to collect for that it it's made quite easy for us to make, to get creative with this stuff because of the interchangeability of these different kits um it's specifically the boys kit um it was just such a, a clever idea on gw's part to create the sort of uh the, the simple sort of uh neck join with the the heads the, the sort of ball and socket join so you can get the posability and have the heads face in different ways, but you can swap heads easy. And they were all built off that same basic principle. And then all the other kits just expanded and tweaked that same design, but made it so that we could interchange. Now we're getting less of that these days. Um, and that's a shame. Um, but uh, yeah, there's just, there's just the boys kit. Wow. They're just brilliant. And um, there's, there's not an orc player or collector out there watching this right now that doesn't have a boys kit, which you probably can't say about any of the other kits I've listed. Um, it, it might not be the most exciting kit to get, um, but I think we take it for granted that just how good that kit is, because it really is that good. And uh, yeah, it's a classic and uh, hopefully it will stay around for many more years to come. Um, but there you go, guys. That is my number one pick, the Orc Boys. A true classic so there you go guys there's my top five for you um, what do you think about that is there options on there that you would have gone for different kits and different choices um, please share your comments in the section below um, share what your top fives were list your top fives from me. I'll be very interested to read them um, and uh, your reasons why and stuff and uh, if you disagree with what I've said please share that in the comments below uh, it's always good to get discussions going and debate this stuff. Uh, I do have a few honourable mentions to make, actually. Let's have a look. Because, like I say, this list this list was tough. Of all the top fives I've done, um, this one I, I really struggled with. Um, but it has got to be some honourable mentions and a few dishonourable mentions as well, actually. Um, one thing you'll notice from this list is that none of the new miniatures are in this list. Um, things like the uh, Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon, etc. That's not to say these aren't good miniatures. They are they, they're beautiful looking miniatures. They really are. They've got a lot of detail in them. And they, they, they are fantastic from that perspective. But as a kit to build from a creative standpoint, insanely restrictive, very mono build, um, with little to no options in any of those kits once you've built them you've got barely anything left over gw please stop that stop that please right now um if you carry on down this route it it, <laughs> it won't end well for you I'm, I'm sorry it just won't um you will drive away a lot of of the your old fans your lifelong fans um and the people that like kit bashing and converting and creating and that is, I would say, a huge majority portion of our sort of players. So, GW, please stay away from those kind of kits in future. You want to create a good kit that we're going to love and get a lot of use out of, give us options. Give us options and give us variety and give us versatility. Make sure those kits are compatible with other kits in your range. Um, please do that. So that they're all of all of the releases from October would be my dishonourable mentions, but my honourable mentions, things that very nearly made the grade, would be the Killer Cans. The only reason Killer Cans didn't get in there is because you only get like one of each weapon, um, so you can't equip all three of your cans from the kit the same, unless you go down the conversion route. Um, which is, is a bit of a shame because otherwise the kit is amazing. Pretty good value. Um, you get quite a lot in there for the money. 
again much like the death dreads very poseable very characterful i've just finished painting a load myself actually which you'll be seeing on the channel very soon and i had a lot of fun building them a lot of fun posing them and can you know doing little conversions during that a, a, a real fun kit uh, but they just didn't quite make it i think the death dread as a kit is just that bit better um, the battle wagon the battle wagon that's so close to being in the kit at number five Choosing between the battle wagon and the truck was the hardest part of this because um, the battle wagon is also a very versatile kit and you get a lot of cool options in there and it's a kit that is amazing for um, making looted wagons with um, and just what's in the kit you can build it in a variety of different ways and one battle wagon will look very different from another um but the things that held that back was partly the price it's it's getting up there now it's it's getting a bit ludicrous with the pricing that it keeps bumping up and the fact that the battle wagon upgrade sprue you have to sort of buy separately or buy the pay the extra to get the that variant it doesn't just come in the standard kit and it's a shame they didn't do with the battle wagon what they did with the was bomb blaster jet and just bundle that in with the kit as standard because in there you get the um, death roller you get the kill cannon um, you get the mortar and you get like uh, some other little bits like a like a little grot um, uh, the, the, a grot crew uh, not a grot crew a grot rigger uh, you get little bits extra little bits like that in there which um, if you just buy the standard battle wagon without those bits it kind of feel like you're missing out on a lot of the best stuff from that kit so that's kind of why it didn't quite make the grade uh, the knobs kit um, the standard knobs kit was again I was deciding between that and the mega knobs um, the reason the knobs kit didn't get in there um, was again you don't get all the options in there um, they you know you've, you've got a good you get five knobs in there and a little ammo run and you get a good range of stuff in there you've got a couple of combi weapons um you've got a few power claws you've got some big choppers but if you want them all equipped the same say you want all of them with um big choppers i think you only get four big choppers in the kit um if you want them all with combi shooters then you you're going to have to be looking for bits parts or trading and swapping or converting because you only get a couple in there i think you get two combi rockets and one combi scorcher um and the so th that's what held it back but it's plus points is again really versatile kit you can swap parts with that it interchanges with things like flash gets quite nicely just a little bit of conversion work as i said earlier you can swap parts between the knobs and the mega knobs kit really easily um and uh you get loads of boss poles and stuff in there loads of course cool they're really characterful and dirt cheap as well it's one of the cheapest kits in the alt range and it's a it's a really nice looking kit and so again it was a one that was close to getting in the top five um my last honorable mention has to go to the met gun um a kit that i know some people say is a bit pricey it is a bit pricey um and if you want to get a um a good sort of squad um of met guns and you're going to go down the route of buying the kit each time for them it's, it's going to set you back a fair bit of money but it's a really good kit with um, loads of conversion possibilities. Um, you can build it in some different ways. You don't have to follow the instructions and build it that particular way. And uh, you can break the kit down and use the parts for other things. Again, the weapon options on there are really good for using for like looted wagons and things. Um, you can have a lot of fun convert with it and the grot crew in there just they've got so much character that i love the grot crew miniatures they're awesome little miniatures they're real funny and uh yeah they're just cool um but yeah there's, there's some of my honorable mentions anyway guys i had to talk about them because like i said they were those options those kits were so close to getting in on this top five and they just narrowly missed out so they were definitely worth a mention but yeah like i say guys um share your thoughts below what you think about my choices and what your choices would be is there anything i left off the list that you're like well, i can't believe he didn't you know why didn't he put that on the list um please share it down below and let's get chatting uh for now guys for this top fives video this is me six plus steve -O, signing out